All right, looks like we got quite a pile of mail to get through. Hey you all and good morning carpetbagger here coming to you live from the north I am in Rochester New York and um, I have received uh, a couple weeks ago I put out a call I've been been for, for for some time people have been asking if they could send me things if they could send things to my PO box and I had my PO box kind of closed to the public for a while but uh, I decided people really wanted to send stuff I didn't need anything but People said that they had things to send, so I decided to open it back up, and the, uh, the, the, the outcome is somewhat alarming. There's a lot of boxes here. As you can see, piled next to me, there's also a box here, an old Crocs box full of smaller things. I'm at, uh, currently at my, my girlfriend Jen's house. I picked these up in North Carolina and, and threw them in my trunk because I was too busy hibernating in North Carolina to open up any mail. So we're here in Rochester, and I, 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 I had the back of my car filled with all these packages. So I figured we're gonna go through here and open some mail. So, I, oh my gosh, this box, these boxes are just falling on me. So, okay, there you go. What did I do with the scissors? I had scissors. Okay, the scissors over there if I need them. No, you don't have to get up. Here, throw those scissors over here. Oh, safe. Throw them, throw them, throw them. Oh my gosh, okay, there's the scissors. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, uh, I'll say people's first name. I don't wanna give people too much information on the people who, who sent these to me because I don't know if they want that or not. But this is from Wendy. I'll put some of this on the ground. There's so much mail. I, I, I can't believe I was really taken aback by the, the reaction here. Oh, look at this. We've got some, uh, some stickers. We've got a little Mothman. Mothman sticker there, as well as my other fave, the Flatwoods monster. It's a little possum pin. He's in the trash and he's found two pieces of pizza and he says score. He's happy that he found that pizza. All right, so these were from Wendy Woods Design from uh, Tyler and Nancy. They says, uh, howdy Jacob. Been watching your videos for years. Love seeing all the fun and weird attractions across the country. Me and my wife are artists and wanted to give you these. Hope you like them. I love them. So I will give a plug to a plug to Windy Woods there. Some really cool pins and stickers. Rolling Blue. This is a dress from. I'm afraid to cut this open. Some of this might I think this is one of those spongy ones that has the that you cut it open and it's got a bunch of fuzz on the inside. So a bunch of stuff just popped out. Okay. What is this? What's this? There's a shirt here. Oh, it's a CD. It says Rolling Blue, Oblivious, and a. What does that say? A Rolling Blue t shirt. This is a postcard from Lawrence. It is the H.H. Holmes murder, murder castle in Chicago. I'm not sure who this is from. NAV. Looks like there's like all these prize, like tickets that you'd get in an arcade there in the back. There's no uh, return address on that. Got a nice little Easter card here from Michael and Julie. It's from Lillian, got a nice little card there. Some adorable possums on it. Another card here from Robin. It's got some really cool Route 66 stickers on it. And some robots there in the back. We got an Easter pickle there from Amber and Nicole. There's some drawings from Nicole, and look at this. There is Nicole dressed as me <laughs> with a little red suitcase and a squirrel and saying in the letter that uh, Nicole had a similar bad experience at a drive-through zoo where uh, she was sneezed on by a cow. Not bitten by a camel though, fortunately. I was sneezed on by a cow, it was dramatic. You're, it's gross? It's, it's terrible. Apparently it's gross to be sneezed on a cow. That's not an honor that I've had yet. 
in my life, but maybe someday I will be uh, sneezed on by a cow. A very nice letter from Milner here. Thank you very much. A letter from Megan from uh, Ethereal Visions Arts here. Sent me some artwork. So the, I think those are the street sharks. And then Macho Man, Randy Savage. And then look at this one. We have the uh, Jacob Speaks. It's actually me as Zoltar. Jennifer sent some vintage postcards there. Very cool. I love the old Holiday Inn uh, poster. You can see the, back in a day when uh, hotels used to have their own postcards from the Stardust. There. Oh, there's a Ronald Reagan postcard. Even politicians had their own postcards. It's from Shelley Graham, Design and Photography. She sent me a brochure that they designed. Uh, talking about a time that Paul McCartney stopped and visited Route 66 in Oklahoma. A postcard from Jonesy, made by a local artist in Detroit. A nice letter from Russell, thank you. Briley from Florida. Got some artwork here. Got the possum there, Route 66. And then also there is a picture, picture of me. Very cool, thank you, Briley. Oh, it also says Goat Man Lives. I'm wearing my Goat Man shirt in that picture. Got a postcard there from Clark's Trading Post, an awesome, uh, awesome roadside attraction in New Hampshire. And then look at that. I got a, uh, some more artwork. Me. Who's this from? This is from Evoke, Evoker. Thank you, Evoker. Got a card here from. Alexander, Rory, Alonzo, and Keo. The sticker there from the University of Nebraska. Uh, Lincoln Chancellor's Commission on the Status of Sexual and Gender Identity. Thank you so much. The postcard from Louisiana from Justin says that uh, check out some of the alligator farms in Louisiana. I think I did. I, I yeah, I may need to do more alligator farms in uh, like the New Orleans, Louisiana area. I've not done as many, I've done a lot in Florida, not as many in Louisiana. It's from Cheryl, it says travel is so much easier when we do it vicariously. Well, thank you so much. A cool Las Vegas postcard there. So the postcard of Montreal. So it's from Warren and Jane with my White Mountain Design. Into here. some magnets with uh, that frontier town in the Adir Adir Adirondacks. Then some Storytown magnets. Storytown is now known as uh, Six Flags Great Escape, I believe. Some Shane here. Man, envelopes are harder to open than you'd think. Oh, this is really cool. It's the uh, Secret Order of the Bull Weevils. I'm a big fan of the Bull Wheels. This is from the Memphis Carnival, 1979. Very cool. Thank you, Robert, for the pins and buttons. We've got a space alien that says, I do not believe in humans. The moon there. And then an alien keychain. The shaky one. Yeah, this one, I don't know. Yeah, you can definitely hear something <laughs> inside. It's in an Orville Redenbacher it's popcorn. popcorn box. It's, I don't know if it's popcorn. You know, me and Orville Redenbacher grew up in the same town. That's actually a true, not at the same time. He's he's an older gentleman and he's no longer alive, but we're both from Valparaiso, Indiana. Let's see what, what is, oh, look at this. Customized bottle openers. It says, this one's in the bag, the carpet bagger. This is TCB. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, did you catch it? I did. All right, so these boxes here. This is from Autumn and Dalton. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is cool. This is. He's a piece of corn 
and he plays football and basketball and he bobbles at his waist. That's super cool. Oh, the team name is the Corn the Corn Jerkers. That's interesting. I love him. This is yes, this is a hoop this is the Houston Hoop This is the Hoopiston, Illinois mascot. His name is Jerky. Jerky the corn jerker. I think I lost my scissors. What's that? Yep. It says, Jacob, I've been following you for a while and enjoy your content. Your journey with leaving your job to pursue your dreams it gave me the confidence to open an Etsy shop to sell my arts and crafts. Well, thank you so much, Carrie. And she included these little Beetlejuice inspired tentacles that are coming out of the plants. Very cool. Thank you, Carrie. This is from CDB Enterprises. CDB. No, I'm thinking of something else. I don't have a lot of box opening skills. So this is good training. Oh, look at this. Rock and Sockos. It's got the Rock and Mankind. Mankind, of course, my, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Includes an electrifying t-shirt. See if we can get in, get in here and check out the t-shirt. Oh, there you go, it's so cool. Rock and Sockos. I got some w, WWF pins. Got Mankind, The Rock, Steve Austin, and Roddy Piper pins there. Very cool. <laughs> got a couple Funko Pops with Ooh. Mankind and The Rock. Oh, Jen loves Funko Pops. Do you have these, Jen? What are they? Uh, the Rock and Mankind? No, I wanted that one. You don't have this one? I may steal that from you. Uh, very cool. Yeah, again, Mankind, one of my favorite, definitely my favorite uh, wrestler from the Attitude Era. Here's a box from Point Pleasant, West Virginia, sent by Ryan. Well, I'm curious what's in the, what's in here. Oh, look at this. It's a Mothman Funko Pop. Now this is not the same one you got me. Oh. She met, Jen got me a, a Mothman Funko Pop. This is this is the original Mothman. She got me the Fallout Mothman. So now I have both versions of the Funko Mothman. Are the wings different on that one? This yeah, if you see he's like he's like less insecty. Yeah, Jen got me this as a gift just yesterday. So now I got the both versions of the Mothman Funko Pop. You can see he's got, yeah, he's got more insect. The Fallout's got the more insect-like qualities. And this one is the more, almost more owl-like. It's from Ryan, that was from Ryan Grady. It says, uh, Living Point Pleasant, own a cotton candy booth. It says it during the festival. It says that I showed it. Yeah, the Moth Floss booth. So and then Ryan has a, uh, a, a YouTube channel as well at Ryan Grady. All right, so this is a big, this is a big one. It says Mad Gentry Studios in Taylorsville, South Carolina. I don't know what is going to be in here. It says, Mad Century Studios invites you to explore Greenville, South Carolina. It's a chest. I'm just afraid to open this. It's, all, it's full of all sorts of stuff. Riding Spider Egg Sack. Oh. 
a Luna Moth cocoon. This is great stuff for my cabinet of curiosities here. Oh, look at this. This little painting of a possum wearing my hat. So that's so cool. Just open, open care. This says open carefully. So I'm going to. Oh, it's a sculpture of me. It says the carpet bagger. Little, little. There's me in my little hat. Let's see, I got a, a a little blimp there, and a spaceship. Oh, thank you so much. That's so cool. Look at him. It's got little Crocs. Her magnets from an abandoned refrigerator. There's an ashtray <laughs> made out of an old Schlitz bottle from uh, South Carolina. Oh, look at that. Creepy little head. I like it. All rings. That's a pig, a cat, a frog, and some lips. Oh, a little jar of possum bones. All right, we got one. Final box here. This is doesn't say doesn't say who this is from. I don't think. Is this Vicky? So dig in. What is this? What is this? What is it? What is this? No. What is it? <laughs> I don't know what it is. That's scary. I love it. Oh, there's more stuff in here. this piece of artwork there in addition to this <laughs> then we got a a hat there with some with some pins on it what are the pins? Pins the National Baseball Hall of Fame. There's a Yeti pin, a Sasquatch pin. Very cool. Oh, look at that! It also came with that's a toadstool with a little mummified fairy on it. Cool stuff. So thank you, thank you guys so much. I'm overwhelmed at all these. These, these 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 pieces of art, these awesome things. Again, there's there's you know I, I appreciate it fully. Uh, don't I don't want anyone to feel obligated to send me anything, but yeah, yeah very grateful. It's very impressive. And thank you so much. Um, I think I'll leave my PO box open just for now. Um, I don't know when I'll, if I'll do another mail vlog or when, or maybe I'll open up some stuff during a live stream at some point. But it's uh, very appreciated. Thank you so much. I hope I mentioned everyone. I tried to mention everyone's name. I um, didn't want to mention any personal information, last name, or address, or anything. I'm very curious. I'm trying to see. I want to know. I want to know what this is. <laughs> if someone, whoever sent this, let me know what what its name is. I'd love to, I'd love to know. I didn't. I'm trying to see if I missed a card or something. But thank you guys so much. Um, I'm gonna be back uh, tomorrow morning with some some new videos. I hope. And. Uh, Thank you so much. Until next time, this one's in the bag.